Linear discriminant analysis is a statistical technique used in the area of pattern recognition. It's a technique that takes a series of continuous measurements and attempts to separate a series of classes from each other. So it's a supervised classification technique. Now look at an example within the R statistical software system based on a data set taken from measurements of fleet beetles and this is a data set that appears in the GGOBE data visualization system. So we have seven columns of data and we have one column indicating the species, which is one of three species, and six measurements taken across the flea beetles. So we load in our data and save it as our flea.df data frame and we can use the head function today to look at the first few columns of our data. So we'll see that we've got an additional unneeded column here, x, that's just the row numbers. We've got our six continuous measurements and our column indicating the species. So what we might want to do to start off with is to look at the data, to look at pairs of the variables and to indicate using colours the three different species to see if particular variables can be used to separate our classes. So we load the lattice package and then run the splom function. So we're going to pick out columns 2 to 7 which are our six variables and use the species column to pick out the different groups. So if we run that and take a quick look at our scatterplot matrix, we'll see that we've got our six variables as pairs, and in some situations we have quite nice separation between the different groups. So linear discriminant analysis is going to form linear combinations of the data and to use those to pick out the differences between the three species classes and to try and do that in the lowest possible dimension. So rather than working in a six dimensional problem to hopefully move down towards two or three dimensions. So we use the mass package which we load up and it's the LDA function for linear discriminant analysis. Species is the column corresponding to the classes and the six variables are listed with a plus sign in between them. Data equals, that's just a function argument to indicate what data frame is used to pick out the data. So we run that and save it as an object flea.lda. We can do the predictions from there and then we can do a table of the actual species against the predicted classes. Now we'll see here that apparently we're getting perfect separation between there but we are actually using the data to do the training of the classifier as well as doing the indication of performance which is not ideal and we should really be looking at something like cross-validation where our data is divided into a series of training and test sets so the predictions are made on data that is not used to build the classifier. So just to plot out what the data looks like in the two linear discriminants dimension so we create a data frame the first part is the x's for the first two linear discriminants and then the last bit is the predicted class and then we use xy plot function, the y variable against x, data equals LDA temp, this is the data we just created, and groups it equals class. So if we then just pick out that particular graph, we'll see that our three groups have been nicely separated out on these two dimensions by the linear discriminant analysis.